Hey everyone, welcome to the Biz Bruja, Vanessa Codorniu. So excited to be here with all of you. I'm actually hopping on for a few minutes tonight before I get on the Bruja Rising Circle. So tonight we're going to open the doors to the membership. Um, this is a monthly membership that I've been offering, the Bruja Rising. And what is Bruja Rising? It's a sacred community. It is a community of young and older, a community of um, inclusive curanderos, chamanes, people who are just starting out, people who've been on the path for a long time. Hola, how are you, beautiful? So much love. And so I'll be hopping on to that Bruja Rising call in a few moments. But I wanted to come on here because I was looking at the astrology that's going to be coming up. And we know that in two days, we've got a new moon in Scorpio. Now, be mindful of just like thinking of new moon in Scorpio. Oh my God, I'm in trouble. Um, that's not how it moves. Hi, beautiful. And um, it doesn't move that way. The way that it moves is we have got to learn where the actual degrees are in our chart and how it affects us. But in general, the new moon in Scorpio is inviting us to rise above our wounds and to claim our power. We have not been taught that. We've been taught to surrender. Hey, Dollface. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Gabriela. Hey, Margie. We've been taught to make the outside world... Um, the power and with good reason, right? Because if we didn't listen or pay attention to our jobs or to our bosses or to our husbands or to our families, we might be left outside. We might be kicked out of everything. But in two days, we're going to be moving into a new moon in Scorpio, depending on where it lands on your chart. And I think it's 23 degrees Scorpio. So you have to look at exactly in your natal chart, what 23 degrees Scorpio is. And I think it's 23. Don't quote me on that. Tomorrow we have Mars going direct. Mars is also one of the rulers of Scorpio. So think about it. Mars going direct, the planet of aggression, the planet of energy into the new moon. This is a powerful, powerful time. But be mindful not to allow all the videos, all the information that we're seeing online to scare you, to shrink you, to make you feel overwhelmed. You know, this full year has been really co-created for each and every one of us. Hey, starting from zero. So some of you can step into your spiritual path. Some of us can deepen into our spiritual path. Some of us can raise our voices, right? Into the injustices of the world. Some of us are creating sacred spaces, bigger sacred spaces like I am, like Margie is, like many of you are. And so this year that has been tremendously stressful for all of us and collectively like, you know, draining and stressful where we don't know if the information is correct or information is not right. Well, that's where we're being invited to go within. New Moon in Scorpio to me is about facing our fears and it is about engaging in our truest power. And our truest power is not that we're going to go heal someone or we're going to be some big shit priestess like I see so many people online trying to present these images of what they think people want to buy. It is about being a human being who has a moment to sit down and breathe and connect to what you were born with, connect to what you were born with, to connect to the healing power of what you were born with, to connect to the healing um, energy that you were born with, with your guiding principles. Each and every one of us is incarnated with guides, incarnated with angels, incarnated with well ancestors, and also those who need healing. And when we're too focused on, oh my God, the news, and oh my God, this one said this, and we're gonna be a takeover, and there's gonna be this, and there's gonna be that. Yes, let us be aware that we don't know what's happening exactly in the outside world politically. At the same time, do you know? Do we know what the F is happening within us? And I know most of us are hustling and moving our butts, handling family and children and work and education and our health and so on and so on, right? So I get it, right? Because you all know that I've been handling so much as well. But we need to find that moment within ourselves. And so remember that Mars goes direct tomorrow, which means we're all going to have a little more energy. But we also have to be mindful that because Mars is going direct and in two days, it's a new moon in Scorpio, what are we intending? The new moon is always about new energies. But if we're like, uh oh, you know, my God, this is going to happen. We have to be really grounded in the knowing that we are safe no matter what, that we are held no matter what. We have to be really grounded 
in the knowing that we were always powerful. We've always been powerful. And you know, what I see a lot is people, again, who know this, who know that, and then are proclaiming they're the grand poobah, the great curandera of all time. And then the minute something happens to them, they shatter, right? And no judgment, but there's no need to proclaim anything. Deepest wisdom and true wisdom doesn't run around saying that they're like the 15th billionth, you know, um, incarnation of the grand priestess of the goddess, right? We simply exist. We simply are. And so remember that this new moon in Scorpio, hi Shranda, hi Zochil, hi Simple Pilgrim, spend some time within the next two days to really connect to the next evolution of you, the next energy of who you are already in the process of becoming. Who are you? Who the fuck are you? Who are you in the process of becoming? And allow yourself to invoke, to invoke, right? The most expansive version of yourself, no matter how scary it is. Because remember that shrinking and living small and tight, it just gives us back pain. Seriously and headaches, and worries, and insomnia, or sleeping too much. But this new moon in Scorpio is going to be really strong, very powerful. And then we come into a month where there are going to be two eclipses, right? And there's an eclipse, I believe, in North Node in Gemini, which is all about communication. But when it's in North Node, we have to be careful because while it's guiding us to our destiny, because it's in that area, it can sometimes be fuzzy, meaning that sometimes we can get carried away with the thoughts of who we're supposed to be. Like a lot of folks call me, they're like, I'm supposed to be the next Ayanla. I'm supposed to be the next. And I'm like, girl, could you just be the best version of yourself in this moment? And let the moment to moment to moment to moment take you to be the best version of yourself. And so just remember that this is a powerful time that sometimes people say to me, oh, you know, there's a lot of shifts going on. And so I'm exhausted or this is happening almost as if the stars are going to do it for you. When there are powerful um, portals opened up in the stars, they ain't doing it for you. They're opening a door and going, hello, do you want to enter here and face your fears? Hello, walk to this door over here. Do you want to rise up and deal with yourself and choose the things that are going to allow you to let go of what you don't need and to incarnate and embody that which you truly are? And so remember, because there's this like idea, hi Vanessa, Um, there's this idea that I see a lot with people, I see a lot of dramatic posts of people like, oh my god, it's a full moon, or I see a lot of people like, it's a new moon, and I see a lot of this weirdness, and maybe it's trendy or cool, I'm not saying that the new and full moon do not affect us. I'm just saying that we've created a lot of like weirdness around it where people are like, oh my God, la vida, right? And I'm being dramatic so we can laugh at it, but also look at it. Yeah, we might be tired. Yeah, we might be going through shifts. But just remember that the stars are not doing it for you. They're going, choose door number one, choose door number two. And a lot of times we slow down our blessings. We slow down our blessings because we're still holding on to what we know. We're holding on to the job we know. We're holding on to the habits we know. We're holding on to the love we know because afraid to find the love that we don't know. We are used to, let's say, trauma or victimization. And I know that that's a whole other area where we need more support. But then we hope we keep repeating these cycles because it's what we know. And so just remember that Scorpio is about power. Scorpio is about tapping into our energy. That Scorpio is about rising, having that inner magic within you, having that power. And we all have it, unfortunately. And especially as women, we only show it when we're really fucking pissed, right? Like how many of you show your power or your energy when you're pissed as hell? Right, especially as women, we've been taught to be nice, la chica buena, especially, you know, Latinas, Latinx ladies. Like, trust me, I got attacked in my own apartment when I was 22 just because I wanted to be a good girl. And when my intuition said, don't let that man up in your house, I was like, oh, no, I don't want to be like la chica mala. And then people going, ay, que loca. She didn't want to leave the guy upstairs, you know, come into her house. What is she, paranoid? Well, guess what? Because I was trying to be la chica buena, um, I got attacked in my house in Manhattan. And so I have learned now that although I am kind and loving, the boundary 
If you don't feel right, especially the next two, three days with this new moon coming up, do not say yes. Say no. If you don't feel good and you need more time to decide on something, take the time. But just remember that we're going into this new moon, that it's powerful. <coughs> and the stars are not going to do it for you. They're going to open door number one, number two, and number three. And you can slow down your blessings if you want. And sometimes, this is the prayer I always ask my guides, is please make the messages manageable. Because trust, right? And I know some of you have gone through this yourselves. I have been that type of person that will go to a retreat for five days and then go through like the ascension process. I did this like 12 years ago where I went through this goddess process every day, five hours a day, right? Then I went and sweat lodged like every day. And then I went, I was like cray cray trying to evolve really fast. Like, you know, my youth. And now I got to realize like manageable is best, right? And there's no prize for evolution. There's no prize, you know, um, there's no grand prize for taking shit. There's no grand prize for evolving, um, I would say that as we evolve, still things happen that challenge us, but we see them, we see them differently. We see them differently, right? Like, you know, healing is a spiral, the sacred spiral of the goddess. And along the road of wherever we may be, we see things differently. Like I say, you have an issue with your mom. When you're here in the spiral, you're like, ah, oh, that bitch didn't love me. And then the spiral goes around. Oh, she did, but she had a lot of um, trauma. And then the spiral goes around and you're like, why am I still thinking about my mom? Oh, wow, I reached the point of compassion. And so remember that healing isn't like boom overnight and you're done. Although there are some breakthroughs that happen and just be kind to yourself. You know, like I've realized that I've got to take care of this cough in my chest because I have really bad allergies, by the way. And wow, because I've cried so much with all the losses, it's really affected my chest. So you know I got me some eucalyptus. I was steaming myself. That's why my hair's hanging a little bit. But it's okay because my lungs feel better. And I got the meds that I needed and I'm doing what I need to do. And so just remember that this the stars are not going to do the healing for you. The baths are going to help you. The candle work is going to help you. And then you still have to walk through door number one, number two, or number three. Hi, natural red bone. And you still have to choose. You still have to choose. And I invite you not to worry about the choices that you make because you cannot fuck it up. Every choice that we make, whether we look back years later and go, wow, I should have done it differently, it taught us something. I can tell you that when I took this job in 2009 that I should not have taken, like I should have, I should have done known better, right? I should have known better. But I took it because I was desperate and there were no jobs in New York. I got tortured in that job, like literally yelled at. And I was in there 14, 15 hours and I would get like, why did you leave? And tumors grew, all this stuff happened to me. You know, I never repeated that again, right? And so these are the benefits of some of the tough times that we go through. We want to be mindful not to repeat them. Now I'm going to hop off, but I want to invite you again. Oh, thank you for your love. Oh, yeah, I love you all. I really do. And I'm so blessed with connecting with all of you online and everything. Um, I'm hopping on now soon to the Bruja Rising Circle. Uh, it is a membership support. It is a membership. And what we're going to do every month is one live call and then one mini class. And we'll be going from like astrology stuff and uh, working on how to use a pendulum and how to use this and how to use that and how to tap into our magic. And so I adore each and every one of you. I'm excited. Some of you are doing the Saturday class. I cannot wait, Shranda. Woo! Um, and just, just remember, we're so much more powerful than we seem and that a part of us chose to be here on this effed up earth right now. And we need to continue to hold this rooted intention of healing and transformation for ourselves, for the planet, and continuing to pull the energies of the planet into its most greatest alignment, into its most greatest justice, into its most incredible, beautiful, abundant being that it can be. Because the earth is so magnificent. It has on it everything that we've ever needed. And then our foolish butts came down and effed it up a little bit in spirit of learning, in the spirit of growth, right? For our soul's growth. So let's stay rooted in our knowing that we're more powerful than we know. Let's stay rooted that we have everything that we need and that we need to take a couple of minutes to set up those intentions. 
Okay, sending y'all so much love. Thank you for being here. And this shit just came through. I didn't even prepare, but I just wanted to talk to you. So, mucho amor. Gracias, mis amores. Thank you.